You're listening to Battling Opioids, the podcast. Battling Opioids, the podcast, now on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Podcast, TuneIn, Amazon, YouTube, and now Radio.com. Welcome to Battling Opioids. I'm Jay Donnelly. Recently, we went down to PBS 39 in Lehigh Valley, and we talked to community leaders and legislators about battling opioids and the statewide initiative. And today we have invited local leaders, local legislators, to come and learn about all the great initiatives that we do. So, of course, one of those is battling opioids. It's the statewide collaborative undertaken by all seven Pennsylvania public media stations. It's an educational initiative to direct people to places of hope and where they can get help. Peter Schweier, I'm state representative representing the 22nd Legislative District, uh, which is uh, about a little bit more than half of the city of Allentown, Lehigh County. Well, we're here at PBS uh, for their legislative day, and I know I'm joined by a number of my colleagues, uh, but also the work that PBS is doing on opioids is remarkable. Uh, Let's be honest, uh, it is affecting every community, every neighborhood, um, veterans, it's affecting uh, people who are making a tremendous amount of money and living a very comfortable lifestyle. It's affecting people who are at the lowest end of our socioeconomic status. There's not a group of folks uh, from age, race, uh, sexual orientation, gender that aren't being affected uh, by opioids. And the incredible work that PP, uh, PBS is doing to try to bring those resources to bear so that we have the opportunity to really get our arms around it is important. Mario Scavello, I'm the state senator of 48th Senate District. Great. So what brings you out today? And I want to commend you on the battle in opioids. You know, in, in our nation, when you, when you see in one year you lose more people to, to opioid addiction than you lose in the whole, in that you lost in the whole Vietnam War combined, and we're doing it every year. We've got to do something, and anything, anything, what you're, what you're doing, and, and informing people, and letting people know that it's, it, you know, what, to get help, where the help is, and for me, in my district, I've got one of the biggest um, uh, buildings that is opening up. There's about 200 beds to help people with drug addiction, and. Uh, I'm looking forward to the opening in a couple of uh, weeks, and I'm looking, it's right in the center of the county so we can give the service that they need. State Representative Bob Freeman, and that's the 136th district based in the eastern area. Well, uh, obviously to have a part of the legislative day that uh, PBS is putting on here for us at Channel 39, a uh, great opportunity for local elected officials to interact with the staff, the reporters, and to get a better handle on the programming and the opportunities that the station provides to the community. Are you aware of the Battling Opioids Initiative? Yes, uh, today we had a great presentation on the Battling Opioids and it's it's obviously a very good effort to reach out to the community, to educate people as to the problem of opioids, how it's touched so many lives, and to uh, connect people to the kind of help they can get to deal with the opioid crisis. Recovery starts with a call. Call 1-800-662-HELP or visit battlingopioids.org. It doesn't take long to become addicted to opioids. 13 Pennsylvanians die from them every day. Geisinger is committed to ending opioid addiction with both prevention and treatment. In the last three years, we've reduced the amount of opioids we prescribe by 50%, and we've opened four medication-assisted treatment centers across the state to help patients recover from addiction. Learn more at geisinger.org slash have enough. <laughs> 